I'm a Pokeball of Gen 4. And this will be the last video of today. Of today. Yay, I'm making good progress through Tales of Link. Doing pretty well to plow, plow through. Hey, game. Give me a second. Okay, everything's working well. Everything's working like magic. You know what? I'll let Otto take care of this. No, I won't, because I I prefer speed to actually doing well. <laughs> Wah, 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 I'd love to learn the song. Seriously, that's generally one of the first things that pops in my mind when I hear a really good song. I think, could I learn this? <laughs> or at least like the second thing, since the first thing's probably, this song is really good. What am I weak to? I'm weak to water. Okay. Ow. And I have to heal. Because it's just... Oh, oops. Um... You don't forget. Golly, why only one person actually get anything done? Whatever. Of all the times, it's always the worst of timing when the characters go like, You know what, I want to use my uh, special ability to save you the last second. Whatever. Um, wasting hero stones. <laughs> the exact thing I should be doing. Uh. Ooh, that's, that's not too bad. Confused looks. Yeah, I imagine my answer would raise a lot of confused looks. They're probably all going, what are you doing? What, what, it's obvious what we gotta do. We gotta go fight. Anything to just get that LC high up there. Anything. And it kind of discourages me that all of my healing would be able to, like, heal my entire health span. That's a little bit daunting. And sad. Okay. You anything to get that stuff up there <laughs> so I can just knock out the bad guy at the end. All right.
This isn't going so bad so far. Okay. Okay. I'm already... Um... Above it. Okay. So, even if this doesn't work out, I'll at least be... Have a little bit of LC with me. That looks like the good choice. Awesome. Good. Good. Blade Bloom. And I am walking around my kitchen. Lovely. Um, so what do I get in return for doing so well at this level after doing so bad at the other one? I get stuff I'm just gonna end up selling. I believe you. Yes, please believe in me. I'm not just... I have a strange feeling that I can't understand. But just trust me. I have a feeling that we're gonna die if we go out there. Which we will. I wonder if that's how the level would end if we... Fought Lilium. Where we just like end up just getting completely crushed. Okay, I'm at 26 right now. That's not too bad. I'll take the hit, just to get my, um, LC a little bit higher. Okay, good, 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 good. Those people are gone. Okay, cool, cool. That works. Okay. So we're jumping right into this. Right into punching whatever that is. Yeah, punch that thing right in the face. Vampire charm. Um. Come on. Yes! I wonder why the auto isn't set to automatically go for the mystic arts. Because those mystic arts are powerful. Um. Oh. Music died. Okay. We arrive at the end before nightfall. On the way there, my comrades tried to cheer me up with light banter. 
I was simultaneously grateful for that and apologetic. It was the most awkward I'd ever felt on her journeys together. Ah, oh, it appears we've arrived at last. So, what now? I shall prepare the tea and then we'll talk. Let us give the great savior as long as he needs to tell us how he feels. Shall we begin? Libby's special tea blends always helps me to put me at ease. But despite its calming powers, I still find myself struggling to make sense of the way I'd felt. The room lapses into silence once more. No matter how I rack my brain, I still can't find the words to explain the sensation. I'm not even sure that I trust this hunch myself. Should I really let it overrule Sarah's desire to save her brother? Should I really let it overrule Libby's mission of purifying all the fallen seeds of ruin? Yes. But you see right through my hesitation. Sarah, she urges me on with her smile. You look so troubled, Glycus. I want to see you smiling again. It doesn't matter if you can't explain it well. Libby and I just want to know what you're feeling. Will you tell us why you wanted to wait? I'm no match for that smile. Ensnared by its glow, I find myself smiling as well. Just like that, the awkwardness is gone. I take a deep breath and begin to explain the situation. I had a hunch. A hunch? <laughs> That's the rippling I'd been feeling inside me for a while now. And the ripples have only gotten stronger as our journey has gone on. Back in the audience chamber, the ripples had grown into a tidal wave it's washing over my heart. Really? Is this really what we should do? Wait. Just a little longer. That was what it was saying to me. But what was it, it exactly? I don't know. But I know that there's something there, something I don't dare to ignore. <coughs> I see a mysterious hunch. So that's what you've been going through. Okay, Glycus, I understand. Sarah and Lippy close their eyes and nod solemnly as if pondering something. It feels good to have finally told them, but I know how worthless my explanation must have seemed. I've given them nothing to work with at all. I open my mouth again to apologize. I'm sorry that I stopped you over such a vague feeling. You don't need to apologize for that. Really? Sarah opens her eyes and speaks with a renewed smile. Thank you for telling us, Gladicus. I'm touched at how concerned you are for my brother and I. That's why I'm so happy that you told me. This hunch of yours, this conflicted feeling, I wouldn't have wanted you to agree to fight in spite of that. I'm sure it would have tripped you up. Yeah. And if I had learned afterwards that that was the reason why, I'd have felt terrible about it. So thank you for telling us, after all we've been through together. Hey, cool. If you feel that way, then I think we ought to stop and think about it. I believe in you, Gladicus. A gentle warmth spreads over my heart, and I tell her exactly how I feel. Thank you. Needless to say, I agree with Lady Sarah wholeheartedly. In the time I've had the honor of supporting you, you have demonstrated an incredible insight on countless occasions. I guess the music's not gonna work. The actions you've taken have saved our lives and the lives of many others. It may be that you possess some rare power of discernment that I cannot fully comprehend. It would be the height of fully for me to question a hunch of the great savior. As always, Libby's happy 
of laying the praise on thick leads me a tad embarrassed. But his faith in me never ceases to give me strength. So I share my feelings with him as well. Thank you. And with that, our course is settled. It appears that Gaius will need more time to fully formulate his plans. Let us use the opportunity to get to the bottom of this hunch of yours. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. I do have one idea about how to go about doing that. Oh, what is it? The archive stones. Those massive hero stones that record the history of entire worlds. You believe your hunch is related to the histories my goddess Leon has been showing us? My hunch? I always felt it the most strongly when we were viewing those scenes. Hmm. But even if we ask Leon to show us more, she'll say that it requires too much magical energy. Indeed, and there is only one way that we can help lighten her magical energy load. Using the Archite Stones requires huge amounts of Leon's divine power. The power she's using to halt the sprout of the Seeds of Ruins has been scattered across Lepheus. The more Seeds of Ruin that we purify, the less power she'll have to divert... She'll have to divert... The less power she'll have to divert to them, and the more power she'll have to add to the Archive Stone. Now let's get back to work purifying seeds. Great, thanks guys. You don't need to thank us, Glycus. Say something like, come on guys, let's do this. Huh, alright guys, let's do this. You bet we will, Glycus. And so we set off. To discover what lurks behind the hunch. Let me try something. Eh, I guess that didn't work. Ooh! Spiral record. So! New area, huh? That's... Hmm. We still have to get to the bottom of my hunch. A many adventures later with many more seeds purified, it's time to revisit Akashia. The three of us close our eyes. I summon Akashia to the forefront of my mind and pray deeply to be there. That strange landscape, that odd mix of imagination and reality, that's where we need to be. Do 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 do. Lippy, Sarah, Glycus, I'm pleased you've all made it. Thank you for all the seeds of ruin you've purified. Due to your efforts, I've managed to refocus more of the energy I've been using to suppress the seeds. With this, I believe we can go even deeper into the archive stone than before. Let us resume our journey into its annals. Yeah, that was... I guess we're doing this in silence. Do, do, do. Hmm. Okay. I might as well tap some stuff on my marimba. Wait one second. 